So you've gotten a camera, you're learning to use it, and things are just going great. And then one day you say to yourself, I'd really love a more cinematic image. And then you go down the rabbit hole of, you know, what settings do I need? And uh, what lens is the best for a cinematic image? And then some YouTuber tells you that the, the key, the answer to your problem is lighting. You've got this big old beast in front of you, lighting. You're like, well, how do I light? How do, how do I use a light? And you run over to Best Buy, you get a $20 ring light, and your shot kind of looks like, like this. What's up? Welcome back to my TikTok. <laughs> Don't worry. We've all been there. In this video, I'm going to show you how I would light a corporate video uh, with just one light. You know, uh, you don't got 20 million lights, so we're just going to use one light. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the Amaran 200D. And before, you know, I get hate comments that that's too expensive or whatever. We're not going to take this thing over 50%, okay? So that way it's similar to an Amaran 100D or a Godox 60W, the idea is the same. And so I'm gonna walk you through what I would do if I only had one light for, uh, for a video, for a corporate video and how to make it look good and look uh, cinematic. This is really difficult. Um, I'm trying to BTS it, show off a little bit of it, actually have the camera interview, I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing and act in it. Okay. So here's the, the look that I, I came up with just for an example. We're here in my living room um, and I'm just gonna walk you through a few of the things and a few of the decisions I made. You only have one light, so I'm gonna recommend that you find a room or something, um, an office or whatever that has a window. And a lot of people will tell you to uh, avoid windows. You know, you're gonna get con light changing. Um, I think it's okay. I mean, sure, there's probably some rules where you don't want some backgrounds to change too much, um, but the way you're cutting and, and using B-roll, I really don't think anybody cares. You know, I say take advantage of that natural light that's going to fill up the rest of your frame because without a window, it's going to seem really dramatic. Um, the whole frame's just going to be really dark. And for a lot of corporate videos, we don't need that. And I will show you what uh, this window is doing. It's not a ton, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. <sighs> Alexa, lights off. I was making a joke, Alexa. Okay, so here's what that window is doing. It's really not much at all. Uh, I think you can see a little bit better on this camera what it's actually doing. Uh, this camera, you can barely see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this aperture light back on. Okay, so imagine this wasn't in the frame. That's just too dark of a background. Um, if we were to go to a place without a window or without a lamp or anything, that's just too dark for a lot of your corporate jobs. Alexa, turn on TV lamp. Kind of cool. Something went wrong. Oh, no, no nothing's wrong, Alexa. <laughs> um, and you want to make sure that the camera is on the opposite side of the light to your subject. And so what that's going to do is I'm shooting shadow side. And what that means is if, uh, if I were to turn the camera and this is kind of like what it would look like. So if I'm shooting a uh, light side, look how it just fall off, um, especially if it's like this. I mean, there's no depth to me. Whereas uh, when I'm looking this way and the, the I'm shooting shadow side, I've got one dimension right here and then the lit side is over here. And so it, it just makes the, the image more dynamic. But I've put the light also on the side where the window is. So the window is gonna motivate this key light and um, to an untrained eye, this might look like the window is, is lighting this fully up. Um, and that's what you want, you don't want uh, the light to be on this side if I were turned the other way um, because it it doesn't make sense as to where the the window light is coming in and hitting my face. Another thing that I, I did with this image is I put a practical behind me. I think practicals are, are really important for if you only have one light. It just makes the image more dynamic. Again, that, that practical just makes it feel warm, makes it feel a lot more inviting. Okay, we're gonna, so looking at this camera, uh, as you can see, this aperture light is uh, remarkably close to me, but we are at 12% on this Amaran. And so whatever light you're using, even if it's less, uh, less powerful, less doesn't have as much uh, lux output, you're gonna be able to get the job done because you want this as close as possible. Um, and that just creates a really nice soft look on my face. Um, I joked earlier about the ring light, uh, but a lot of times people will not have as big of a, a, a source. They'll, they'll shoot the light way brighter than it needs to be. Uh, and it, it causes shadows, you can't quite tell. Um, so you want that as close as you can. And again, on the side, uh, that makes sense where the window light would be coming in. 
and uh, you want your camera on the other side. And so I've just angled it. This is just, you know, you just play around with it. You angle it to where you get this Rembrandt lighting. You can kind of see the triangle on my uh, side of the face. It's, it's hard to, to draw, but you can, you can kind of see that, that triangle light. Um, just because you have the ability to go brighter doesn't mean you should. That uh, You want this light to be as close as possible and uh, honestly turn it down as much as possible because, or uh, you know, double diffuse it or um, you just want this diffuse light as close and as big as possible, as close as, uh, and then really as low as you need as, as possible. Okay, now is this image perfect? No, there's, there's flaws to this, uh, but it's one light. We're learning, I think any client's gonna be happy with this. But really, I just wanted to give you a, a cinematic look and image for uh, cheap and something that is gonna help you have some pretty nice looking shots for some of those first big jobs that you're doing. Here's some things to keep in mind if you've got one light. Shoot in a room that has window. Window is gonna add some just extra ambient light, make it not look so dramatic. Um, it's gonna be something that you can motivate your key light for. Uh, you wanna make sure you're shooting shadow side. Uh, you wanna try and find a practical that you can get in the image. Yeah, don't overthink it. Um, play, practice, you know, do this at, at do this at home. Find find somebody. Maybe you can find somebody to help you out. I I couldn't just with one I could film. I think it looks cinematic-ish. You know, I'm a little biased, uh, but but yeah.